I'm gonna be trying something different this week. As soon as I get up, I'm gonna have eight ounces of water. I'm gonna try to get that in, in the first 15, 20 minutes of being awake. It is after eight o'clock. I'm gonna reheat some breakfast. After I eat, I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna do a quick little chat. To drink, I'm having this citrus punch. It's zero sugar. I picked it up at Dollar Tree. Eight ounces is a serving with five calories, zero fat, one carb, and zero protein. Here's your ingredients in case you want to pause it and look at those. It's sweetened with sucralose and Ace K. It tastes phenomenal. Sort of reminds me of my childhood Think Tang. If I ever find it again, I plan on stocking up. Black Label Fully Cooked Original Bacon. I picked this massive package up at Sam's Club. I'm gonna take a couple of pieces, throw them in the microwave just to give them some crispiness. I can't be the only one. I feel like I could eat the entire 72 pieces of bacon in one sitting. Main course is a massive waffle. My waffle recipe, I'm gonna link it for you in the cards and down below in the description box. The syrup that I'm using is the Birch Benders. This one is gonna be sweet with monk fruit which doesn't spike my blood sugar. What I do is warm it in the microwave then I put about a tablespoon of butter with that, mix it up till that's melted and then pour it over my waffle. Nine o'clock uh, yeah, I scarfed breakfast down this morning and guess what? I'm actually on my second eight ounces of of water for the day. As usual, I have an entire list of things I wanna go over with you all this morning. So Chris was home this past weekend. I had so many big plans. I was going to churn out tons of content with Chris in it and I managed to fail miserably. What I did do was enjoy lots of family time and every single second with Chris. So I apologize. We did manage to get one video recorded and that was the April Keto Crate unboxing. I will link it for you up in the cards and down in the description box if you want to go watch it and see Chris. He was actually home for one week and one day. This is the longest he has been home since October. Unfortunately, as of right now, we have no idea when he's gonna be coming back. He plans on staying up in New York and working at this job as long as there is work. So he may be gone quite a bit longer. Now, let me talk about some things that happened while he was home. About two weeks ago, we had some heavy high winds come through this area. Well, apparently those high winds blew a significant chunk of shingles off of the house. We had someone come out. They gave us an estimate. It's gonna be a big chunk. We're gonna have to get it re-shingled and quite a bit of materials replaced. I guess there's some wood rot. Anywho, cha-ching. Well, while Chris was home, thankfully it happened while he was home so that I didn't go into full-blown panic mode. You know I have a tendency to be a drama queen and freak out over stuff. We are sitting in the living room. It is literally raining cats and dogs outside. I keep hearing this noise and I'm like, is it my soda can? Is it making bubbling noises? What is that? What was it, you ask? It was a literal waterfall coming from our living room ceiling. We're putting pots and pans and towels everywhere, but it just kept getting worse and worse. The rain keeps falling and we had two days worth of rain forecasted. Thankfully, we have some amazing neighbors that are in the construction business and they had someone out here within the hour and they put 
something over top of it to keep the rain and the water from coming in and charged us nothing. <sighs> there are some amazing people in this world and we are very lucky and I am extremely thankful. So after all of that water that had already came in, finally finished emptying out into our living room floor, I started noticing this horrific odor. Our ceiling in this area in the living room now, it is this horrific or brown yellow color. So apparently whoever had lived in this house previously had smoked my entire home. Smells like cigarette smoke. And I have issues with odors anyways. So overactive nose. <laughs> My pancreas doesn't work, but I can smell something a mile away. The living room is like off limits at this point. I got my fingers crossed that uh, in the next week or so, all of the stuff that was ordered to redo the roof will come in and they will get to it. They said once they start, it'll be done in one day. And we're not just having the house done. We're having the house, the entire carport, and the porch, you know, the wraparound porch where I always sit. As far as my health goes, I've been feeling great. I don't have nearly as much brain fog. All in all, things are really looking up, but I have noticed that I do have significant swelling. And we're not just talking in my legs and ankles and feet. I'm on Lasix for that, but also in my face, my hands, my wrists, just my entire body. And I don't know if it's some of the medications that I'm on or if it's autoimmune disease related. There have been several days this past week that I have woke up and my eyes were pretty much swollen shut. I have been doing quite a bit of research and I am considering a couple of diets. I'm not sure which one and I need time to mentally prepare. Uh, I'm looking into the plant paradox. I've considered carnivore and I'm also looking into a few others for autoimmune related issues and also healing gut issues because from my research, it shows disease, a lot of immune issues can stem from intestinal issues, microbiome and stuff like that, and getting it back to a healthy atmosphere is beneficial. <laughs> Baby steps. I'm starting out with drinking lots of water and doing research to figure out which one that I want to consider. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments. Maybe we can get a group of us together for support. If you have not joined the Facebook group, the link is down in the description box. Come over there, join, because I have been extremely active over in the Facebook group recently. I have done lots of Facebook Lives and you don't wanna miss out on those. So. Come on over. When I start to clean up, I'm gonna do a quick, hopefully quick, get ready with me because I get asked all the time, what's your skincare routine? What foundation do you wear? What mascara do you wear? And stuff like that. So I'm going to get ready on camera. So that's the plan for later. Okay, I'm gonna edit a video, do some laundry, maybe run the vacuum cleaner, but I'll see you at the next meal. 10 o'clock, time for my long lasting insulin. I take Traceba and I'm going to be injecting eight units. 
my blood sugar has been doing amazing the last few days, staying in range um, about the mid 80s to the low 100s, and I've not had to take any of my fast acting insulin. I have went down on my long lasting some. There was one point where I was taking around 12 units in the morning, but I was having some lows throughout the day and night, so I have dialed it back down to eight. We're gonna see how that goes. Since I'm trying to keep my blood sugar stable and not have any lows, I am having more snacks than I usually do. Today, I'm having the protein puffs that I had picked up at Big Lots. If you've not seen the Keto on a Budget, What's New at Big Lots video, go watch that. You're gonna be shocked at all of the stuff that they have. These are the Shrewd Foods Protein Puffs in the Cookies and Cream. 32 puffs is a serving, 90 calories, 3 fat, three net carbs, 13 protein. I'm actually not having 32 puffs. These have a lot of flavor. They've got the crunch. They're sweet. They're sort of salty. They have it all. And I bet you can't guess what I'm drinking. Yeah, I'm having eight ounces of water. I get asked a lot about a makeup routine about once a year. I show you guys what I'm using on my face and I'm doing this in my kitchen because even though the lighting is bad right here where I'm sitting, it's still better in here than it is in the bathroom because those lights are yellow. Start out with a clean face. I use Cetaphil. This is what my dermatologist told me to use. And then I pat it dry. Once it's dry, I apply lotion. This one is the daily oil free, has hyaluronic acid, which is supposed to help plump and firm the skin. I give it about five or 10 minutes to soak in before I do anything else. Let me get up close and personal because what I wanna show you is this vein that runs down the middle of my eyelid. It's bright purple. First thing I do makeup wise is conceal that. So eyelids and right here where I have the purple or dark areas, I put a yellow toned concealer. You don't have to use this one. You can pick these up anywhere. The one I'm using is by Lancome. A little goes a long way and it's just a dot on each side. Also put a small dot right there. Beauty blender, pat, pat, pat. I don't even go all the way down on the lid. I just get this top portion. Next, I do foundation. The foundation that I've been using is the L'Oreal True Match. It is a thinner liquid, so it's not full coverage, but it's not thick, so doesn't settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. Give it a shake and then I just dot it all over my face. Beauty sponge, damp. I just want it to have this bounce and then I'm just going to bounce, bounce, bounce all over my face till it is completely blended. When I'm bouncing it over my face, what little bit does get on here, I just take it right back over my eyelid. Once I'm blended, I do take concealer. It's Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. <laughs> and it's the palest one that they make, and the color is fair. What I'm gonna conceal is, yeah, this thing. Mm, put a little dot there, and I also want to conceal a little bit better the circles that I have, but I don't wanna put too much, so just a couple of dots. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Here's what I've learned in my 30-some years of applying makeup to my face. I've learned less is more. I would rather have some visible flaws, my skin texture showing, rather than use something like a thick foundation that is going to cake up and make my fine lines and wrinkles more visible. Two, some things are worth a splurge and some things you can get at Dollar Tree or Walmart or any drugstore, but that's gonna be personalized to you. So depending on what your main concerns are, that will determine 
where you splurge and where you don't. I don't splurge on foundation, but I do splurge on setting powder. Translucent one that I use is the Laura Mercier. I set my foundation and concealer with powder a little on the brush, tap, 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 and then just pat it in place. I go ahead and bronze Physicians Formula, and this is the Butter Bronzer. Hit the high points of my face, of my cheekbones, down my nose, sometimes along my jawline, and then along my hairline. I do use a highlighter right here at the top of my cheekbones and down my nose. Blushing Hearts, this is Iced Hearts Triple Baked Blusher, but it's a highlighter. See how it's shimmery? I Heart Revolution, so another drugstore brand. What I do is just take my ring finger swirl it around in all of them and then just hit the high point right here of my cheekbone and blend it in same thing right down my nose i don't even know if they make this anymore i've had it forever because i mean there's a lot of highlighter going on here palette that i'm using is another i hearts revolution or i love revolution this is the white chocolate palette you can see the ones i use the most i take this neutral pale skin color named smoothly get it on both sides then i just go over the top part of my lid with it now for the corner, the color that I'm using is called Adorable. That, it looks more like a highlighter and I'm just putting it in the corner and then also the inner one third of my lid. The very center of the bottom of my lid, I'm using this gold color and the name of it, Double Dip. Go in the center and pat it on. I'm going to choose any of the browns. It just depends. Do I want to go light today? Do I want to go dark? It doesn't matter. But all I'm going to do is take one of the shimmerier colors and then just apply it to this little outer edge. I'm going to go with the darker one. It's called Buttons. It's a copper color and it's just going right there. For the top of my lid, I keep it matte colors because I don't like to bring too much attention to that. So in my crease and then up just a little bit to about right here, I am going to apply a nice matte brownish taupe color. This one and the name of it is Toblerone Fluffy Brush into the Toblerone, into the crease. And then all I do is just swipe up and blend, blend, blend but not going far. Now, before I put this up, I'm gonna go back and take this nice bright highlight color that I put right here in the corners, put a little bit on my finger, and I'm gonna swap it over my Cupid bow right here. Change of position. Okay, eyebrows. I do very little there because several years ago, I had them microbladed. Just go ahead and fill them in a little or sort of shape them instead of fill them in. My favorite brow pencil is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills and I use soft brown. It's expensive. It's like a $25 brow pencil, but it is by far, hands down, the smoothest. And I like the fact that I don't have to sharpen it. All you do is just roll it up. Then I take my spoolie and then just run. <laughs> it through to make sure it's blended and that all of my big bushy eyebrows that have since come back in are laying down and going the correct way. For mascara, I use the black L'Oreal Unlimited and I do not use the waterproof because I don't want to pull and tug at my lashes. Let's talk lipstick. I hate lipstick. It's so much work. Never wants to stay on. If you do get one that does stay on, then it's sort of cakey or it goes away in the middle. I have a scar right here from a dog bite when I was four years old. It goes from this area all the way down. So I have to be careful what I put on my lips or it's going to accentuate that big scar. I don't have gorgeous big pouty 
Kylie Jenner lips. I just have 49 year old Christy Davis lips. So I have to line them to define them to make them there because as we age, our lips get thinner. Pencil that I've been using is one of the retractable ones and look, she all gone. So I need to go get another one. But I like the fact that this one just rolls up and down and I don't have to sharpen it. Revlon Colorstay Long Wear Lip Liner. And does it have a color? Oh, this one has a sharpener. How did I never know that? I just was reading the side. <gasps> There's a sharpener. What? I mean, it's not like you need to sharpen it, but what? how did I not know this? <laughs> I've just spent way too long looking at this pencil and there's no number on here. There's no color unless I've just had it so long that it's wore off. So I stick with pinks and purple toned colors for my lips and my liner because if I use anything with a brown in it or an orange hue to it, it's going to turn bright orange on me. I don't know if that's my pH. This is a mauve color with a purple undertone. I'm going to line my lips not going too close to the corners and instead of defining my cupid's bow, I sort of go straight across and it helps camouflage that scar. I've noticed if I put chapstick on before I do a lip liner, it goes on a lot smoother and it doesn't look all patchy. Now, before I put the liner on, I'm gonna get up close and personal because I do want you to see that scar I'm talking about. And it was a big one, quite a few stitches. My public service announcement for the day, teach your young children not to hug strange dogs that they don't know. Line my entire mouth and even the inside of my lips. Then I'll just rub it and smudge it so that it colors the entire lip. Lipsticks that I use, I found these on clearance for like 50 cents ages ago and you know how lipstick lasts forever. They're all three Rimmel and they're all three the Katy Perry collection and I don't even know if that's still available. But you'll see one is a bright pink, it's number 33. The other one is a mauve and it's number 17. Then this one in the middle is more of a nude and it's number 42. The one I've used the most, of course, is number 17. It's the mauve and that's all that's left, but it's a light color and all I'll do is just put it right in the middle and that's it don't know if this is still available, but this is the number 17 that I use. Does it have a color name? No, just number 17, Katy Perry. Rimmel. And that's it. I'm going to get up close. I don't know how to put fancy filters when I'm editing, so this is what it looks like. But you know, it's real life here. Some texture, some flaws. It's normal. We don't need that pressure to be perfect. Just be real. And I know I've said this to you guys a billion times. I wear makeup maybe once a week and that's when I do filming. I will try to list all of the products that I used down in the description box for you in case you are looking for the name or the color or anything like that and you're just interested. I'll be back in a little while, but I'm gonna go spray these bangs out of my eyes because they're driving me crazy. Quick blood sugar check. I am at 87, so I do not think I'm gonna need insulin for this meal. To drink eight ounces of ice water and to eat chicken taco soup. This is low carb, it's keto friendly. There's not a ton of ingredients. The chicken that's in this is the rotisserie chicken that I pick up at Sam's Club. After we've had a few meals on it, I will pick the carcass clean and throw all of that chicken into a crock pot. I'll add a can of diced tomatoes, sometimes Rotel, an entire box of chicken broth, beef broth. Sometimes I'll get the spicy chicken broth. Secret ingredient to spice it up and give it a kick is half a jar of the deli sliced jalapenos with the liquid. Those are the ones that I pick up at 
add Aldi. The only spices that I add in are the Flavor God Taco. I put all that in the crock pot and then I let it cook all day. Today I added cheese to this, the Fiesta blend that I pick up at Walmart. Sometimes I'll even throw in sour cream. I've been sitting outside working on a video, completely lost track of time. It's a gorgeous day, it's warm, I didn't want to go in the house, but it's time to eat dinner, so let's go get something. Another easy meal because it's leftovers. All I had to do was reheat and eat. Green beans with butter and sea salt. Pulled pork that I pick up at Sam's Club. For the pulled pork, I take it out of the packaging. I put it in the crock pot with a little bit of broth and I'll add a stick of butter. I'll cook that on low all day. This is the only one at Sam's Club that I've been able to find that doesn't have additional ingredients added in. I am adding some barbecue sauce. This is the zero sugar BBQ sauce in Cali Gold. I'm just going to drizzle some over the top. This literally took me more time to film than it did to reheat it and sit down and eat it. That's my kind of meal. Keto Chow just came out with some of their seasonal flavors. One of my favorite is the Pina Colada. I love this one in the spring and the summer. And what I like to do with it is make ice cream. I melt half a stick of butter, add one packet of Pina Colada Keto Chow, and an entire 25 ounce container of the light coconut milk. Once it's combined, I add it to my Cuisinart ice cream maker. This is going to churn in this barrel for about 25 to 30 minutes. It turns into a nice soft serve ice cream. This bulks up. It gets thicker. It's more than one serving. I scoop out a bowl and tonight the kids are here. Each one of them had a bowl as well. And don't forget, if you ever want to order any Keto Chow products, the discount code is in the description box. That way you'll be able to take a percentage off. It's about five minutes till 10. My plan for the week is to drink all my water, continue to research autoimmune disease diets, something to help with gut health and inflammation, and go to bed by 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna go get some micellar water, rinse my face off, and go to bed as quickly as possible. Oh, and brush my teeth and take my vitamins. <sighs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember, anything mentioned in the video will be linked in the description box for you guys, along with discount codes and any specials. I'll see you in the next video.